Hey guys, welcome to my new video and oh my god, it feels like it's been a while since I was just sitting like that and talking to you, so I'm really happy about making this video. And if you're watching me for the first time, my name is Dari, I live in Moscow and I share on YouTube my life there and about my city, also I show a lot about around Russia and showing everything to you. And in this video I decide to tell you why I decided to leave Russia for some time and some drawbacks about living in Moscow and why I've chosen Bosnia and Herzegovina so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be interesting you'll find out more about my life and about life in Moscow so continue watching it so guys everything started when I decided to move out from my parents I want to note here that a lot of Russians continue living with their parents after graduation from universities because usually when you are just graduated the salaries are quite low in the beginning so and to rent an apartment is quite expensive and if you are continue living in your city where your parents are living usually especially girls but guys as well continue living with their family for some time and this is was my story well first of all my previous job was located just next to my home what the super rain Moscow I just could take a bus and come there and the second thing that the salary uh, didn't allow me to rent an apartment and I really didn't want to live with somebody else and then I quitted my previous job our compet my competitors uh, offered me a higher position in their company and now I'm working there remotely because their, their office is located in Germany and I'm super happy and the salary is bigger so I decided to rent my own apartment in summer I started looking for it and uh, there is a website that called Cyan and usually if you want to rent an apartment in Russia you should use this website not Airbnb because Airbnb is super expensive and usually there are not so many really good options and they're I mean for uh, long-term renting not for a few weeks or a month or but it's really expensive in Airbnb so all Russians are renting an apartment with Cyan I started looking there, but there are some good options you can find. Uh, for example, I was looking in my district for apartment because uh, my dog will continue living with my family since he lived in that apartment all his life and he's old now. I don't want him to feel stressed. Uh, moreover, there are so little <laughs> good apartments that I allowed uh, to take dog with you and they're really expensive. So this is, was my idea, renting uh, my own apartment in my district. And yeah, there are some options, for example, you could find a more or less good op uh, option for 40,000 rubles, but uh, I didn't want to border my myself and all good options are started from one year renting. And I didn't want to uh, sign up an agreement for one year because I don't know what I'm gonna do in one year and also you know that I don't really like cold weather and I was thinking maybe I should live some months in winter and that's why I like okay I didn't plan to go anywhere now but I didn't want to border myself and when I started looking for options that you can like from one month to from three months something like that I was planning to rent an apartment until new year in the beginning uh, trust me, 99, 95% of all good options are disappearing. And now for 40,000 rubles, you'll find a really mm, shitty apartment. Uh, probably the design in Russia we call it like grainy design or Soviet design. And I didn't want this since uh, I'm working remotely and every day I'm talking with my colleagues, with my clients from the States. Uh, and with the camera and you know I it will not be so professional and I didn't want to go out to cafes to some co-working spaces every day so I needed some more or less simple design like white um, I forgot the word white walls uh, something like that and when I understood that there are no good options I was really really sad there were some good options in the south of moscow but as i mentioned i wanted to rent in my district or at least like you know not super far away from it uh, so i can walk with my dog sometime uh, and i don't really want to live in the south of moscow i don't really like it i prefer north and I started looking for hotels uh, but <laughs> what's the point of hotel i need a uh, kitchen to cook and I was really, really upset. I really didn't want, didn't know what to do. I didn't plan to go anywhere. But then I started thinking, uh, why not to try to live in another country for some time? Uh, I opened the list in one day. 
I want to note again that I didn't plan to go anywhere. And one day I decided to open a list of the countries that are open to Russia, to Russians. And they were like Turkey, um, I've been there, Greece, I spent one month in some of them. And I wanted to try something else. And not, you know, not super expensive like Western Europe. Um, and states are open, I didn't have a visa, I didn't want to go to Cuba or Mexico. Uh, and I was like, then I saw Bosnia Herzegovina. Basically, guys, I knew nothing about this, but I decided let's take a look in the Airbnb. And you know what? I found an amazing option. I just fall in love with this apartment. I will show you it in one of my next videos. It's super nice. The price was amazing. Really, in Moscow, for this amount of money, you can't find anything like anything even close to this. Uh, and then I take a slice of pizza, cacao, went outside to the park and I was like, am I really doing this? And the answer was yes. So in the same day, I booked this apartment. It was the most spontaneous decision in my life because I booked it for a month. And I'm like, wow, I mean, I'm quite spontaneous person. I booked some trips, for example, in the middle of the night. And then in the morning, I went to this place like it was with Kaliningrad, but never for one month. And then I start thinking, why not to live in Europe this autumn? As you know, I really don't like gray weather. I mentioned it many times in my videos. And November, one of my least favorite months in Moscow. I feel so depressed this month all the time. Like it started since the middle of October until November, the, the beginning of December. Uh, and now I'm like, okay, I have an opportunity to live now. Why not to use it? Just why not to try it? Uh, so yeah, like, oh my God, really, I still can't believe that I'm here. It's been already five days since I'm in Bosnia. I like it so far. I will tell you everything later. Uh, and then later I'm thinking one month in Bosnia and then one month in some other country. And then probably I'll go for a few weeks to Germany to my colleagues because we never seen each other in real time, in real life. <laughs> and I really hope for Portugal. Uh, it's like my dream country in Europe that I haven't been yet. Uh, it's quite cheap there, but yesterday I started looking for the apartments in Airbnb and I was in shock. They're super expensive. It's like one of the, no like at least a little bit normal apartment. The price starts with 1,200 or 1,300 and the maximum I can pay is $700 and because like I still don't earn so much. And, but I said to myself, okay, if I really want this, I need to find a way for this. So now I'm gonna look for it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll go to Portugal after it. Um, but so far, I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't really miss Moscow right now. <laughs> but I mean, I love Moscow with all my heart. It's an amazing city and Russia is a super beautiful country. I really like traveling around. I still have a few videos from Chechnya, from uh, Tula, from Altai that I'm going to release in the next uh, during the next two weeks. So be excited about this because trust me, they're so good, especially from Altai. Um, actually, I already made one video, they're gonna be two parts. It was deleted. Uh, I lost a few days of work, but now I will make myself do it once again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are my plans for autumn. I know that I will return back in Moscow in December for sure, because I already planned to tr one trip to a really remote place in Russia. Uh, and also I really like Moscow during December and the beginning of January. It's one of my favorite times because of the Christmas lights and so on. So yeah, of course I'm gonna record everything for you. Um, and just the small conclusion about this video, guys, speaking about drawbacks that I personally don't like, uh, you can find a good option for Min B, uh, but it's gonna be quite expensive for Russians. Uh, also, I mean, if you are from USA, probably the price will be cheap for you because but you know the salaries are different the uh, difference between uh, one dollar and one ruble is huge so for russians airbnb renting an apartment via airbnb is expensive um, you're also uh, losing a lot of good options in sun if you rent for a shortened period of time uh, and it's becoming more expensive and another drawback of living in russia is uh, weather as you already know, like I would like to try to leave, to skip at least one November <laughs> and not be in a rush in this time. Uh, not a rush, okay, I'm speaking about Moscow there because Caucasus area, the south of Russia, it's quite warm during this month. 
So friends, thank you so much for watching this video until very end. I was super happy just to talk to you to tell you about my plans. In the next video is probably in the next two weeks I'm going to release videos from Russia and then I will start showing you uh, beautiful Sarajevo and Bosnia and Herzegovina because I already planned few trips around it. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, be sure to subscribe and to push the like button and I see you in the new videos. Goodbye guys.